Dr Draymond, I'm looking at, at just how you guys performed in the first quarter in this game and in the previous three games in the series. You limited uh, the Jazz to just 17 and a half first quarter points per game. What do you feel like you did effectively on defense as a team consistently through the series in the first quarter? Um, I think, you know, guys really came out focused, you know, knowing what the game plan was and executed that game plan. Everybody was on the string, um, you know, starting these games out. And, you know, I think the most important thing, though, was we imposed our will on the game and we had the game at our pace. Um, and to do that in the first quarter, you know, you would say, oh, man, like they had the game at their pace offensively, but it, that also speeds them up as well, and that's not, you know, the style that they really play. So I think the way we were playing offensively, pushing the ball in the first quarter, um, I think that also took a toll on them and, you know, had an effect on their offense as well because it sped them up a little bit. What were your impressions of playing the Utah Jazz for the last four games? I'm very impressed with this team. Um, a lot of great talent. They're a deep team. You know, one of the best defenders in the league at the rim at, in Gobert and, you know, Gordon Hayward, you know what he does. But I think down the line, they have a deep team, a long athletic team, and really impressed. You know, great coach, great coaching staff, great arena. You know, so it's fun to play against them. Definitely challenged us. It, it, it brought the best out of us all these, you know, these four games. And definitely going to be a team that's going to be, uh, you know, contending for a few years. Samani Poole, NBC Sports Bay Area, for either one of you guys. The narrative around you guys is always about the scoring and the shooting and so forth, but the defense in this postseason. It's only one basketball. <laughs> yeah. The defense in this postseason, though, has been pretty incredible. Just wondering what you guys think of and what has it taken to get to this defensive level because it's been good all season, but it's like you guys find another level in the postseason. Let me ask Sure. Uh, uh, well, you got versatile defenders. You got, you know, the best defender in the league who is uh, – you can't really pick on him, even though he's just, you know, six four, six three, maybe. But playing a center position, you just can't, you still can't pick on him. You can't throw the ball in the post, and um, you know, expect to get a basket. You're not gonna go at him in pick and rolls. You know, he can switch out, and I think that's what starts our defensive intensity. It all starts with him, and we kind of fall in line after that. You know, we got guys like you know Dre, Clay, myself, Matt. All the way down the line, even when Steph switches off, he's really good, who can go at multiple positions. Uh, it takes a lot of teams out of their actions. And, um, you know, we score the ball, but we preach defense every single day. It's not just let's outscore our opponents. We gotta try, we're going to try to stop you, and then we're going to try to run the score up. Uh, you know, but, you know, when you got so many guys that can defend and are smart, it makes for a good defense.